<sighs> hey, how are you guys doing today? Um, I'll do the reading for the highest good, the highest healing. Those who need to hear the messages the most, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We all have masculine, feminine energy. Um, uh, yeah, I know a few people ask me about tarot classes. If you're interested, please let me know either via email, text, or drop a comment. I'm trying to work out the details right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start. The first card that came out, which is the overall energy, is a lot of um, harmony, partnerships, um, some type of movement, things happening quickly. So that's the energy that's going on right now. I'm going to pull some cards, go further into detail. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If not, I'm just going to pull... Um, We'll see what the hell comes out. Uh, I'll try to start with uh, more lighthearted shit than getting more serious shit. Um, but I guess I'll start with some business career stuff today. So if you guys have any questions and aspects to that. With respects to that, sorry. Um, So here we have, again, like I said earlier, there's a lot of stuff that has to do with motion and moving forward. That's what's going on now. So if you are in business or you're trying to do some type of personal business, entrepreneurship, hey, Julian, how you doing? <laughs> Aknel, how are you? Um, yeah, so it's you really have to start taking action you have to start putting in the work to move towards what it is that you want okay you have to step out of your comfort zone and take the next step so if you're kind of like I've gotten really good here and I like it here because I know what I'm doing you step out of that and move into okay well what else can I learn what else can I create what else can I do so you have to kind of move around like that um So again, if, like I said, you guys are doing business. If you want a question, you know, just let me know you want a card pull or ask the question. But for right now, I'm pulling some stuff for business. Um, yeah, some of you guys really need to sit down, maybe brainstorm some ideas, write it down, and take some notes. And it's easier, you know, if you have like a little notebook that you carry with you because every time you get an idea, you jot it down. We'll always be like, oh, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. And then later on, you're like, fuck, what was it? So write it down so that way you don't forget it. And see what it is, you know, that um, your customers want. You know, if you're trying to build a platform or you're trying to offer a service, you know, see what it is that they want and then try to provide those services. All right. And make sure you're just doing more. Basically, do what you feel is right and do quality work for whatever it is that fulfills you and the right customers will come to you, okay? <clears throat> yeah, so again, we have a lot of, um, you guys might be analyzing right now, like analyzing your competition, researching the market, doing things like that, and trying to figure out how you can make a better offer or provide a be better value of what you have to other people so you know that's always good to make sure that you're staying on top of the game like that and always be grateful you know say thank you um do little gifts discounts things like that to show your appreciation for those people that are supporting you and whatever it is that you're doing yeah so some of you guys are getting better at really um Learning how to manage and deal with your feelings and your emotions in a point, like, so that you're not allowing your thoughts to run away with you, okay? So you're kind of getting a grasp and a handle on how everything is running and maybe how your team works. Um, but yeah, it's important for you to just be able to have a way for your clients to find your information, to access you, or any of that such stuff, whatever it is that you have going on. And some of you need to meditate and set goals, okay? Whatever it is that you got going on, uh, try to do some meditation if you find that you're too busy. And I find it funny because they say if you're too busy, then you definitely have to sit down and meditate, okay? So if you say, I don't have time to meditate, then you need to meditate. 
and set goals you know try to write them down in the journal create a vision board do things like that so that way you can reach what it is that you're trying to get to you know just take baby steps when you chip away at it it doesn't seem like such a huge thing it doesn't seem like a big thing you know so as you chip away at everything it gets better it gets easier um let me see what we have here Give me cards. Somebody is being very stubborn. Okay, so somebody is being very stubborn, and it seems because their emotions are all over the place. But there is an offer or some type of commitment, a proposal, something that's coming in. Could be business, could be relationship, and it's almost unexpected. So it might catch you by surprise, whatever this offer is. Um, it looks like it's family orientated for some of you you know whatever that is for you but there's some type of surprise and it's like you're gonna probably just be on cloud nine or it's you're gonna be devastated I'm not really sure yet <laughs> um whatever it is i don't know if there's some type of uh pregnancy or something that somebody wants proof of But there's somebody here that's been blocked. Either you blocked them or somebody else blocked them. Or you blocked them or they blocked you. That's what I meant to say. I don't know. Maybe they were blocked by somebody else. I don't fucking know. I just, these things that come out. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, there's some type of... Again, why do I get this? There's going to be something here that either you guys are going to go on a vacation or a trip somewhere. I mean, shit, maybe you're just getting in your car and driving somewhere right now. But there's some form of denial about facing or dealing with someone that is toxic and not healthy for you right now. Hang on. So whatever this is here, there's some type of denial when it comes to a person either in your life or maybe you have some behaviors or habits that maybe you're not fully aware of and they're toxic okay so this is why it's important when you start noticing things or pointing things out in other people for you to check yourself and see what qualities you have within you that you can probably release or that need healing um you know and again like it could it could just be a person that need you need to release a person and you might not be ready to face that or you're just like there's you know trying to work it out or find re rhyme or reason as to why <clears throat> yeah so this this here this has to do with releasing a karmic partner and it seems like some of you may not even be sure like you're not sure about releasing this person because maybe you think they're your person but if there's something about this that needs to be released because this person was in your life just for a lesson so it could be a third party it could just be a relationship you know whatever it is for you this person is a karmic okay they're, they're just a lesson for you and maybe somebody's in denial about moving away from this person because they are toxic or they don't believe it but whatever this is together like it's going to be a surprise so maybe somebody's going to come visit you okay so somebody needs to take a risk on unconditional love okay like you'll know if you're loved unconditionally because you'll feel it this person won't have judgments towards you they won't be angry with you they'll forgive you for whatever it is that you you know has happened between you guys so you already know um so yeah be careful you know with the karmic person but it looks like you really need to let that go so that way you can go towards whatever this situation is here because they're showing that it's gonna happen soon like the clock's ticking okay so whatever this is there's some type of deadline that's coming about so maybe it's either that they're gonna do it really soon because again they're showing me something that's unexpected so some type of meeting or some type of commitment some type of offer maybe even getting a gate engaged at a family function or some type of event um Yeah, so whatever it is, it looks like you, there is going to be some type of an agreement. And it has to do with a divorce or endings. Um, some of you guys may be in mediation. 
and that's what the meeting is but there's going to be some form of an agreement if you feel like uh, like I said somebody was in denial about releasing this person or this situation and maybe you guys have been talking about it or you guys haven't really been on the same page about not being together or breaking up but something's going to happen here okay you guys are going to find a common ground so that you can move forward with your life let me see Yeah, so whatever it is, it looks like you're actually finding your self-worth. You've been receiving the messages or the guidance and you're understanding that's what it is that you're going towards. And some of you have been raising your vibration so that you can receive the messages that you're getting from spirit or your ancestors. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to pick the card up. And again, they keep showing me compromise. So whatever situation it is that you have going on, if you are ending things with somebody or some type of family dynamic is ending, you know, just be willing to compromise. Don't be so stuck and it has to end a certain way or has to be a certain way because things might not work out. So allow it to end how it is because they're showing there's some type of mirroring. Either you guys are mirroring each other or you're mirroring the other person that you're going towards. Okay, but whatever this is, um, you know, sometimes you have to take a risk, even if it scares you. And we have Twin Flame here. So let's see what they want to tell us about the Twin Flames. Well, they want to smack me in my face. Um, so you and your twin might be in separation right now, and there's a lot of contemplating happening between you guys, okay? So like I said, you guys have been mirroring each other, so maybe it's you, maybe it's them, or both of you guys are sitting in contemplation and probably in solitude trying to figure out what the hell's going on or what you guys are going to do about this. But again, they haven't, there's no speaking, so whoever this is, you guys are not talking to each other. Damn it. Yeah, so saying that you guys are being guided from whatever unawakened state you were in, they're trying to guide you into a better, more awakened place. Good Lord, whoever this is, is very, very stubborn. Um... So yeah, whatever it is, again, there's they keep showing me mirrors, um, you know, and this might be important in regards to confronting yourself, you know, maybe dealing with your shadow work, the deeper things that you haven't dealt with. So whatever it is, you know, maybe you guys are opposites and that makes it a little bit harder for you guys to get on the same page, especially if someone is in a more of a prideful, egotistical space. But whatever it is, there's some type of either you're going to get some type of news or like I said, um, there's a trip or something coming up that you guys are going to take and maybe you'll go to see them or you guys will meet up. But there's, um, again, there's some type of communication that's coming in and they keep showing me uh, family, tribe, friendships, things like that that are good with you, okay? And like I said, if this is your twin flame situation, if you've been hoping and wishing and dreaming for this, it's going to happen. It's just... I don't know when. So I don't know how I picked up that deck. They're showing me love here. So there is definitely going to be romance that's coming about. And that's what I keep getting overall is that there is some form of partnership that's going to be coming through. Um, yeah, so whatever... This could be you or the other person. Whatever you guys have hidden, whatever you guys haven't spoken about, you know, something that is, uh, you know, maybe it's not known, but it will, it's going to come out. You know, the truth always comes to light, whether you want to hear it or you don't want to hear it. But this is going to be almost like a tower moment. Whatever comes about is going to be, you know, it might be hard to hear or hard to swallow, but only you decide how it's going to end and how it's going to go. Okay, so whatever it was or whatever it is that you're going to be learning about or, you know, gaining clarity on, 
you decide if that's going to be the end of it or if you're willing to forgive and move past it you know and honestly you don't know what somebody is going to forgive you for if you don't speak your truth you know like i said if this is your twin and this person does this is an unconditional love this is a divine connection so if that's the situation and that's the route you're going with you shouldn't be afraid because in theory both of you should be on your spiritual paths both of you should have some form of a deeper understanding as to the lessons and why things happen the way they do and why people do the things they do so there should be it should be a little bit easier to forgive whatever's happened because they're all lessons you know and they're lessons that you need to go through before you come into union anything else from this deck don't want to talk to me no more all right so we'll put this one away that one doesn't want to play let's see anything else from this one yeah so exactly what i said um there's some forgiveness that needs to take place and i can say this until i'm blue in the face you know forgiveness is more for you than the other person but also if you have unconditional love for somebody and you know that you're never going to feel that love with anybody else or at least you haven't encountered it or experienced in your life um maybe try to forgive try to see what it is that's causing uh this thing inside of you you know and i know sometimes it's hard to like say to somebody you hurt me or you this or you that especially when you're not comfortable speaking on your emotions especially you know if you've never asked for forgiveness you know it's important to work through these things so that way you can offer your forgiveness to whoever needs it or you can ask for forgiveness if you were the one that did something wrong and it seems like this person is hiding behind a mask like they're not being authentic they're not being who they are they're sh they're just hiding you know and maybe they're acting like they don't feel bad about whatever happened and they don't owe you an apology but they know that they do okay because this person is numbing now they can be drinking um, a lot of smoking like uh sexual escapades things like that is what this person's doing right now and they're keeping themselves stuck because it's like um the eight of swords so that's usually it's like you're keeping yourself stuck you're keeping yourself bound in a place where you know you don't belong but you feel stuck you feel trapped to it for some reason you feel bound by it and even though you're getting signs hey amanda how are you everything's good i think <laughs> gotta get out of here in a few minutes so i'm trying to hurry up and get a message out to you guys um yeah whatever this is you know the spirit's showing you signs that this needs to end there's something that you need to let go of because you're gonna go into something that's more devoted this person has a devotion to you whether you're aware of it or not there is some form of devotion it's either you to them or vice versa or both ways you know it's that's what's going on now but um yeah you have to allow this to end you still you're holding yourself victim in this conclusion like it's not a like you're not letting it it's not happening and again they're showing me family and dark night of the soul so for some of you it may be a family situation that you need to release and you need to go through the process of healing and releasing and letting go so you can move forward you know and that's not for everybody because everybody's not in a family situation but yeah, so there's some form of deception when it comes to this family dynamic. Let me see. And there's, again, we keep getting, like, they're avoiding, they're avoiding, they're avoiding. There's some type of stuck energy, like there's no movement, there's no communication, and you're keeping yourself stuck. Okay, maybe you're deceiving yourself into really believing that you're trapped and you're stuck in a situation that you really, it's, it's not real. Like, it's in your head, but in real life, like, you can get out of it. You can move out of this. Yeah, because whatever it is, again, they're showing me that the scales are being balanced and someone may be trying to avoid their karma, and I don't... I don't think it's possible to avoid your karma 
you know and no matter how much you try because whatever it is that you've put out at some point in time is going to find its way back to you but the scales are being balanced okay regardless of what it is <laughs> oh like no i'm sorry <laughs> Um, whatever this is, you know, it needs to be balanced out and you can't, you know, you need to see if you're lying to yourself. See what it is that, ask yourself what's true. You know, are you really stuck? Or is there a reason you're not moving forward? You know, and how valid is that reason or is it just an excuse that you're giving yourself? You know, whatever it is, you have to really sit with yourself and see where you're at in this because... There's no point in lying to yourself, you know. If you're not going to do it, just say, I'm not going to do it. If you want to stay in the fucked up relationship, just say, I'm going to stay in the fucked up relationship. Or I'm afraid to move forward because of whatever, you know. Whatever it is, you have to be honest with yourself, okay. So if this is not deception from an outside source, then it's self-deception. And that's something that needs to be fixed because they're, sh they're showing me change. A change needs to happen, okay. And that's probably once why everything's getting balanced right now. And again, I, I really feel like you guys might just be traveling. Like, they keep giving me a lot of, um, like, distance cards. Um, like, you know, the world traveling, things like that. So, maybe it's just traveling or maybe you guys just need a rest and you guys need a break, okay? But there is some type of change. And maybe you guys might be moving far away or further away from where you currently live. Because they're showing me, like, right now, this is something that's happening. Everybody want to call me right now it's terrible yeah so try to be positive try to be grateful try to do morning gratitudes listen to little uh, gratitude meditations whatever it is because that's what's going to help you stay in the flow and help you find some type of stability okay that'll help you stay balanced um yeah because they're showing right now like you're they're showing right now that you guys are out of balance um, and it's because there's some type of fear, all right? There's some, you're, there's a fear that you have that's getting you out of whack. So you got to get that back in place. And it could be that you know that there's a change that has to be made or it's you leaving this marriage or a situation and moving away. And that's what's keeping you stuck. But you have to make that move for you to, again, they're showing me purge. So yeah, that's what it is. You have to release what it is so that way you can find the stability you're looking for all right even if it's hard i know it's probably not as easy as you know me just saying it and magic is happens and it's done but just be careful because some of you might even have some type of confrontation with a person that you're like you're, whoever your karmic is there's going to be some type of confrontation with them so remember you don't have to engage that's just a choice if you really want to but whoever it is, you know, um, there's a lot of uh, rejection. Maybe you've experienced it or this person's going to feel rejected and that's what's going to cause the, the conflict, okay? And like I said, everyone is not the same and doesn't have the same understanding, especially if you've begun the spiritual path and you're looking at your life like there is a journey, there is a spiritual purpose, and that's what you're headed towards. And if the other person does not operate on that level, then they're going to feel like it's the end of the world and you're leaving them and their whole life is going to fall to shit. So, you know, you have to kind of decide where you're at on this, but that's really what's coming out here, okay? It's, there, it's easier to move on from situations when you both had the understanding that, you know, life's a journey and sometimes you have to take different paths because you're meant to do different things. But if you have someone that's holding and grasping for dear life and doesn't want to let you go, it makes it harder because, you know, most people aren't really assholes and they try to not hurt people. Yeah, let me see. So, yeah, there's some type of control. Like someone's trying to either maintain control or you need to gain control of the situation. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> So yeah, whatever, yeah, somebody's holding on to the past, like I said, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're holding on to, you're holding on to it because you're comfortable. It's like, you know what it is, you know what you're going to get, nothing's really going to be different, nothing's going to change, so that's where, that's where you want to stay, but you have to gain control of this and let this go. Let me see. Yeah, you, 
you guys might be getting messages in your dreams or while you're awake. So it's important for you guys to focus on it. And maybe you're seeing um, different types of birds, you know, or the same bird over and over again. Look up the meaning of the bird. Anything else? Jesus, hang on. Anything else from this deck? Okay, so... Yeah, so whatever it is, you know, when you're coming from an egotistical place, whether you're right or you're wrong or however you feel, whatever your perception is, you know, st it's still important to have some type of compassion and try to nurture whatever this situation is, okay? Even if it's an ending or whatever it is, you still want to handle it in the most gentlest, you know, most compassionate way that you can because you know there's been a time where I'm sure you weren't ready for something to end and it was something that was devastating to you so you have to try to have the same understanding you know and try to be compassionate in that aspect because maybe they're not ready but you already know where you're meant to go so just try to be you know not so mean about it um let me see if this has anything this is my deck that most people don't like <laughs> let me see anything else that they need to know right now about anyone that they're dealing with well i'll tell you for sure you have some stubborn stubborn person that you're dealing with right now and again if you're dealing with somebody and there hasn't been a commitment or if this is your karmic partner in your family dynamic this person's with you because either you're, you're paying the bills or you're, you're providing something for them that they need or they can't provide for themselves or feel like they can't provide for themselves. Whoa. Yeah, and again, if... So, this individual, either the one you're with or going towards or maybe it's you there's somebody that is emotionally unavailable okay and they maybe they're unavailable because they're already in a family situation like that family situation that they're already in and that's probably why they're unavailable but there's somebody here that is they're just like emotionally somewhere else and that might be why you need to leave this situation because whatever this is this person's always playing the victim all right and they might be cheating, they might do things like this just because that's just, that's their coping mechanism. All right, so again, you know who you're dealing with and you know who plays the victim and who doesn't. All right. Because this person doesn't like, they don't like losing control. All right, this person always tries to be in control of everything, maybe even the way they deal with you or how frequently you talk if they see you how they see you how long they see you like things like that like they feel like they have to really be in control because they're just it's, it's just a fear they're afraid of getting hurt and they feel like if they're able to control all of the situation and keep it'll help them keep themselves in check and not open up to where they're supposed to or how they're supposed to <clears throat> and again there's again Somebody could have a really bad gambling addiction or they have uh, <laughs> they have a thing with paying for sex or shit like that. You know, whatever it is, it's some type of secret, something that nobody ha knows about. And again, it could be that they like the same sex and, you know, nobody knows about this and it's some type of taboo secret because whatever it is, they're showing like it's a fetish. It's a fetish of theirs. And if you're not fulfilling it, somebody is <laughs> somebody's fulfilling the shit but um whatever you know whatever this is or whatever that means to you you know you know the person you're dealing with what their interests are but there is something here that they're not speaking about and maybe they're ashamed to admit it and that's why they don't want to come forward there's something here oh here we go there's yeah like i said the double life um so yeah, you know, if you're with somebody and maybe when you're not around, they're always talking to other people or acting like they're single or they're flirting, that's a possibility that could be happening or maybe it's you, but somebody's doing this right now, you know. And, you know, everybody, I don't want to say everybody, but a lot of people flirt and it usually doesn't go to anything or mean anything, but you know your person, so take it how you will. Okay. 
Yeah, so some of you may be receiving some type of mixed signals, so that's why you're like, I don't know what to do. Do I believe this? Do I not believe this? Do I go? Do I not go? Does this person love me? Do they don't love me? You know, that's technically that's some a form of mental abuse, you know, so be careful if you have a person that's like this, that's sending you mixed signals. It's like you either want me or you don't want me. Like, I'm not going to play the in and out game. I'm not going to play the, oh, we're friends, but we're going to keep sleeping together, you know, because that's basically everything minus the commitment. You know, you don't want that. You want we're either going to do this or we're not going to do this. You know, if we're friends, then we're strictly friends. If we're going to be sleeping together, then we're doing it to attain something. We're doing it to head towards something. Anything else from this deck? So just be careful, especially if this is a type of person that tries to give you everything that it is that you want, whatever it is that you ask for. Or maybe they buy you expensive gifts or, you know, send you on trips or spa days or whatever just to kind of shut you up. Like, oh, well, if she's happy and she's occupied over here, then she's not going to be worried about what I'm doing over here. All right. So be careful with that. OK, because there's somebody like I said, there's somebody here pretending to be something else that they're not. And, you know, they could just be having a mask on and maybe like i said somebody might be in the closet and hasn't come out to anybody hasn't told anybody anything yet all right but whatever this is just there is love coming about and they're showing me that is there's going to be harmony brought in but there's some type of toxic situation that needs to end and maybe you just feel bad because you have love for this person still and you're just like well do i really have to end it is it possible that we can work this out that we can fix this and ultimately you know that's your choice it'll always be your choice okay i can only read what the cards show me and they show me that the karmic person is it's time to let that go whoever it is okay if it's a third party or if it's the person you've been with but whatever this family dynamic is it has to be done it has to be released because this is it's like you've learned whatever you needed to learn from this it's time for you to move forward into something else um let me see. That's the reading. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys today. have to cut it short because I have to go to an appointment. Um, I'm going to pull some self-care cards for you. Alright. So today we have Dream Journal. Um, you know, like I always say, try to write down your dreams and then go back to them, you know, and see what it meant for you. See what happened that you're like, okay, this is what this was trying to tell me. I understand now. So that's usually what I do. I'll be like, I have wild ass dreams. And then later on, months down the road, I'm like, oh shit, I dreamed about this place or I dreamed about this person. And it really is just, it's interesting. Maybe if I get more cards. Up and here we go, vacation. So you guys might just be planning a vacation and that's what all the travel cars were that I kept getting. So have fun if you're going somewhere. And create art. So if you guys are artists, you know, and it could be anything. It could be music, dance, whatever you feel your art is or whatever your crea creative ability is, start doing that, okay? What maybe you're a baker, you like baking shit, do that. Um, I'm going to pull some crystal cards. Alright, everything want to fall out of my hands. Hang on. Oh, Lord Jesus. Anything else? Appetite, it says get out of your comfort zone. Okay, and I'm sure we already discussed that conversation. <laughs> we had that conversation earlier. Um, we have Jade, be the bigger person. Okay, so that's interesting and seems helpful. Especially when people are trying to pull you out of character. And the last one here is Solidite. Speak your truth. These all seem to have a consistent message. 
You need to speak your truth, step out of your comfort zone, and don't let somebody drag you into their shit. Okay? Everybody's entitled to their feelings. They're all valid. But you're not responsible for them. Okay? You're not responsible for how somebody else feels. That is their own shit. You can't do that. Can't put that on yourself because you'll never be happy. You'll always be stressed out and worried about other people and not worried about yourself. Okay, I'm going to pull Angel Answer card. Focus on a question. I'm going to pull three cards. You decide if you want card one, card two, or card three to be the answer to your question. Shit. All right, so these two came out together. It says, it's up to you and no need to worry. Okay. Let's see what the second one is. The second one says it's not the right time. And we'll pull one more. Oh, that one came out extremely quick. Communicate clearly. All right, and I feel like that's been pretty consistent throughout this. You have to have communication. Be direct, be concise, you know, and speak your truth. Don't hide the things that you're like, oh, well, you know, this person's not gonna like this. They're gonna get upset. Who cares? Get it out, you know, because the longer you hold shit in, it's going to drive you crazy and you're going to stress yourself out. You don't want that, okay? Fucking say what you got to say and let the pieces fall where they're going to fall. You know, you can't control everything. The more you try, the worse it's going to get. Just say, okay, well, you know what? You might forgive me, might not forgive me. You might hate my guts after this, but fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and say it and, you know, if they're meant for you, then I don't see why they wouldn't forgive you and why things wouldn't work out. Um, sorry I had to cut it short, but I have to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this answered something. It was a little bit, for me, for me, I feel like it'd be all over the place. But for you guys, it probably makes sense. Um, but yeah, if I have time, I'll probably get back on here later. If not, then I'll be on tomorrow. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys later.